Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Baller here. We are now on this fourth game or fourth prediction for this January 8, 2022 NBA game day. This is the game between Orlando Magic having a record of 7 wins and 32 losses uh, going up against the home team Detroit Pistons with a record of 7 and 30. This one will be played 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And before we continue, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings for these two teams. Man, sorry if I'm laughing. Because uh, uh, this is a battle of two losing teams. Uh, we all know that. Uh, so let's see what we have here. Uh, Detroit Pistons, they are at number 14 in the Eastern Conference. Their last 10 games, they have won three. Approaching this game, they are having back-to-back -back losses. While Orlando Magic, man, they are actually having uh, a worse record. They are at number 15. Um, and for the last 10 games, they have only won twice. And approaching this game, man, this uh, you know this team, Orlando Magic, they are on 7-game losing streak. Okay, um, Detroit Pistons, they would have the home court advantage. So that has to be something, <laughs> right, <laughs> for this game. Um, for... Momentum, we got to forget that because both teams have been, you know, uh, losing lately. Um, and for fatigue factor, man, both teams actually rested last night. So let's take a look at uh, the injury list. Orlando Magic, they got Fultz, Lopez, Suggs, Moore, MCW, and Jonathan Isaac out. That's two, four, six players out for Orlando Magic. And they got Franz Wagner and Cole Anthony as um, game time decision or questionable. So... Uh, six players out for Orlando Magic, possibly eight, depending on the conditions of those two players, Wagner and Cole. Now for Detroit Pistons, um, Detroit Pistons, they got five players out. Um, Jeremy Grant, still injured. Also Olenek, then, and then Livers, Smith, and Frank Jackson. So that's a total of five players. And I'm looking at the spread. The spread is at... Minus two uh, for Detroit Pistons. Minus two. Okay, so here's uh, here are my two cents. Um, it's hard. I, I, I said this before. It's always hard um, whenever you know two losing teams are actually battling it out, just like this one, number 14 versus number 15 of the Eastern Conference. They do have the same number of wins, but uh, Detroit Pistons has uh, somehow less number of losses. So um, Detroit Pistons um, has the advantage for me in all aspects. You know, they are at home. They are uh, having a slightly better record. Um, and Detroit Pistons, you guys, if you know, if you could notice, uh, lately they just won back-to-back. -back. Um, and so somehow Sadiq Bey, um, along with his boys, you know, um, are actually having having this confidence, man, that, you know, they can win. Um, Sadiq Bey would also be getting some help with their, num with, with their number one pick, Cade Cunningham. He's now available, right? He has been playing for the past couple of games, I guess. So uh, Detroit Pistons is really um, having the, you know, the, the advantage for me in all aspects. Um, plus, again, they are at home. Orlando Magic, man, uh, for sure, you know, the, the, bad, uh, the body language is not, you know, it's not for um, a baller, if you know what I mean. Man, they have been losing for seven games, man. Um, and I can't blame them. And they have a lot of players still out for their, you know, uh, for their team. So I'm gonna side with Detroit Pistons here minus two. It's kind of awkward to see Detroit Pistons having the minus, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm siding with Detroit Pistons minus two. Pistons minus two. Peace out, passe love, and God bless.